Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2009 Porsche Cayenne. It's the very, very last of this series. And it's got the 3 litre turbo diesel engine. It's got 176 kilowatts. And it's got a significant amount of torque, obviously being a turbo diesel. It's metallic grey in colour with black leather interior. And this car's travelled just 73,000 kilometres. It's got factory Bluetooth, memory electric driver's seat, electric passenger seat. It's got the two original keys and a very good service history. It's even got some receipts from Trevette Parramatta. There's a number of benefits in buying this car over other KNs. 73,000 kilometres obviously. It has Bluetooth, factory being the last of the series. Air conditioning's ice cold. It's got a lockable centre diff, but it does not have low range and it does not have adjustable suspension. That is a significant benefit because if you have an issue with the adjustable suspension, it costs a small fortune per shock absorber, where this just has normal coil over suspension which is much better. It's got a sunroof, front and rear parking sensors. It's got Continental tires, GTS wheels, which look fantastic, side steps. I mentioned it's got some receipts from Trevet Parramatta. It's even got the original purchase receipt for the vehicle for a doctor who lives in Sydney. Um, I've driven it. It drives absolutely perfectly. Um, I should know. I do have a diesel Porsche Cayenne myself. And I've driven a number of them. V8s, six cylinders and diesels, obviously. So at the click of a button, the boot opens up. It's got the rear luggage cover doesn't look like they've had any pets in it in fact it hardly looks like anyone sat in the car at all it's got all the original tools even the lock nut key and it was built and complied 2009 that is another thing worth noting because a lot of 2009 model KNs in this shape you will find were built in 08 so this is built and complied 09 it's just a very good car, genuine vehicle. The wheels are in perfect condition. I can't see any dents, scrapes or scratches on this car whatsoever. It's got tinged windows, it's silky smooth for a diesel. As you can see, you've got the two factory remote keys, which is great. The leather is absolutely stunning. Uh, it's got the very reliable six-speed automatic transmission. Uh, the Bluetooth works very well. I say that because, you know, some factory Bluetooths are great and some aren't so good. But the factory Bluetooth in this is spot on. As I said, all the leather is very good. The panels. We've just given it a quick wash. We haven't even detailed it. But if you're looking for what I think are one of the best KNs available in this shape, this is it. The diesels are fantastic because you've got plenty of power. The good thing about the three litre V6 turbo diesel with 176 kilowatts, so you've got plenty of power, good fuel consumption, absolute reliability. I mean, they use this engine in Audi, Porsche, Volkswagen, Audi Q7, a6, A4, you, you name it. So parts are easily available. And it's a mass-produced motor. So it's not, you know, a special motor, which I only made a handful of, which, you know, are temperamental and can be difficult to get parts. Very easy. Um, in fact, when I get mine service, which has the same motor, I drop it off in the morning, it's ready in the afternoon. Parts they need... They order, they come at midday, and they're fitted. Uh, it's got Continental tyres all round. 
and is really just a particularly good example of a Porsche Cayenne of this vintage. You know, if you spend a little bit more money, you can go into the new shape. Look, basically, the, new, the newer car looks a bit better. It's a little bit smaller. I think that this model's a bit more substantial to drive, being a bigger car. Uh, but I've got the next shape after this one, and I've driven this one, I drove this one home the other night, actually. And uh, in terms of drivability, they're very similar. Um, I don't think there's any real benefit in going into the newer shape other than looks. And if you went into the new shape at, say, forty, forty-five thousand dollars $45,000, you'd be looking at a car with 100, 150,000 kilometres, so about double the kilometres on this vehicle. A lot of people and purists believe that this Cayenne is actually the better looking Cayenne. Um, sharp edges and things. Looks more like Porsche, whereas the other one, I guess, looks more like every other SUV. That's just someone's opinion. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We can help you with finance. We're only 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have about this particular car. We're contactable on 02 You can ask myself. My name's Philip. Thanks for watching.